Hi guys, my name is Jodie the Zoologist and today we will be talking about the blue-throated macaw. This beautiful species is part of the parrot family and like many other birds in this family it is very vibrantly coloured. It has a blue throat, blue wings and a bright yellow chest area. These birds originate from northern Bolivia and live in and around the Bolivian savannah. They are herbivores, which means they have a plant-based diet and eat mainly fruit and seeds. Blue-throated macaws are 2-3 to three feet long and weigh 1-2 to two pounds, about the same weight as a loaf of bread. Although these birds are captivating, they are critically endangered and their numbers are falling. They face many threats in their environments that make their survival a struggle. The largest threat to blue-throated macaws is human activity, in particular the exotic pet trade. Since the 1970s, macaws have been removed from the wild and transported all over the world in terrible conditions. Because of this, they have really struggled to maintain high population numbers in the wild. So why, you ask, should we conserve this species? Well, first off, they're incredibly intelligent. Like many parrot species, the blue-throated macaw has incredible problem-solving abilities. They can even mimic speech. Also pretty beautiful. You don't see birds as strikingly coloured as this one often, so it's important we protect them. Macaws are also really interesting, with this species in particular having really distinctive patterning around the beak area as unique to each individual as a fingerprint. If that wasn't impressive enough, these birds can also fly up to 35 miles per hour. Amazingly, you can also tell how old a bird is from the colour shades around their eyes. And finally, I think we owe it to them to make up for the years that us humans exploited them so terribly. It is time to put them first and put our efforts into conserving this species. So now you might be convinced that they deserve our conservation efforts, but how exactly can we help them the most? Of course, a huge way to protect the wild populations of this species is not to buy them as pets. Another super important way to conserve this species is to spread the word. Educate those around you on the blue-throated macaw conservation and get others involved in it. Lastly, there are several amazing organisations such as the World Parrot Trust that work so hard to protect natural populations of the blue-throated macaws for years to come. Any support for their work through donations or engagement could really help to conserve this species. If we stand together, raise awareness and fight to protect species like the blue-throated macaw, we really can make a difference. Thank you for listening. This has been Jodie, the Zoologist.